Hello everyone, welcome to Monday Night Raw on WWE 2K19 Custom Universe Mode. We got a uh, pretty decent show tonight. So we're just going to get right to it. Alrighty everyone, first one of the night featuring two debuting stars. Um, we're actually, after tonight, we'll have no more debuting stars, oh my god. <laughs> Here comes a cousin of James Carr, Bryson. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from your darkest fears. Weighing in at 160 pounds, Brian. Is Bryson making his way down to the ring? Kind of like a Santino Morella of the universe, I will admit. Um... That's not against Bryson. Just, uh, unless he wants to get serious, he's going to have to diss this happy-go-lucky weird entrance with that weird-looking attire. Let's see who his opponent's going to be. Okay, he looks a little bit serious now. Now he took all that bullshit off. What the hell? What's going on here? Bryson deciding to uh, run at his opponent. Oh! I guess he must have heard me calling him a joke. And Brad Bishop ain't gonna take any of this lightly. Oh! Oh! Bryson with a neck breaker. It's the first time we've seen this in the series. Oh, big knee. Oh. Now Brad Bryson getting some neck breaker action. Yeah, I decided to play this match, but I did not expect it to uh, start this way. Oh my god, big stomp. Now Brad Bishop wants to take this to the ring, it looks like. He's saying it is over for Bryson. Oh, one for a big knee. Oh, one for any of his own. Oh! Brad Bishop going to throw off his jacket. Whoop. Okay. That's why I can't do anything. <laughs> Sorry about that. Breaking cave wave there. Bryson immediately getting back up. Oh! Beautiful maneuver. What's he gonna go for here? Oh, big blockbuster. Off the cover of that. One, two, no. I didn't think Bryson, of all people, would play dirty, but I guess the ref getting knocked out and immediately getting back up. Oh, Bryson once again. Oh! Bryson not really a fan favorite, even after that weird fucking entrance. What is this? Oh my god! Brad Bishop gonna take his time busting Bryson open with that knee. Oh! Look at this 
reversal and a cover will that be enough no the other kicks oh big knee to the face oh went for that stomp down oh then it hits him with a deep six like maneuver and Bright Bishop kicks out. That was one of the signature maneuvers of Bryson. I might, after the stream, I might, or episode, I might have to make Bryson more of a serious character. Especially after that, uh... That attack, I mean... I'm sure he doesn't want to be made look like a fool. He's just going at it right now. And now Bryson looking to put Brad Bishop away. What is this? The Dude Buster. Oh! Oh! Bishop kicks out at two. Well, Bryson's waiting for him to get back to his feet. Oh! Grab the reversal. Oh my god! Immediately planting. Bryson down. Swanton! The finishing maneuver of Brad Bishop. And that's still not enough to put Bryson away. Oh, Brad said, okay. I'm gonna kick out a one, buddy. Try kicking out a two. Oh, he missed it. Oh, oh, oh! Brad Bishop saying, "Come on, Bryson, let's do this." He wants to go for that Swanton once again. Second time's a charm. Will that be enough? No, still no. Brad Bishop cannot believe it. Oh, what's he locking in? Oh! And immediately going for a Hell's Gate, and Bryson says, No, thank you. Oh, oh my god, back and forth, these two are going. And Bishop pops right back up. And here comes Brad Bishop. Oh. What ducks it? Boom. Kick up. Man, this has been one hell of a match. Let's start off the night. Reversals after reversals. Big moves of plenty and a blockbuster. Again, a running blockbuster. Cover. One. Two. Three. No. My God, I think Brad Bishop's getting fed up. He says enough is enough. Gonna make Bryson tap out. Wait, he was in the ropes. He was in the ropes. The ref still called it. And what a debut for both stars. Bryson may have come up just came up short, but he proved to everyone that he is not to be taken lightly. There's a Swanton bomb miss. The second Swanton that actually connected. There was the Hell's Gate reversal. Here is your winner, the Predator, Brad Fisher. Brad Bishop. Uh oh. Yeah. Taunting. He's not done. Which, honestly, I don't really blame him. Bryson went to attack him after this. Oh my god. After the match, before the match even began, 
And Bryce is going to learn a little thing of respect. Oh! Planted. And Brad Bishop. Oh my god, they look like PS1 models. Greatest of all time. <laughs> Brad Bishop showing that he is not to be messed with either. As we move on to the next match, I believe the women's champion, Alice Lovecraft, is in action against the debuting women wrestler. Alright, and here we go. The women's champion making her way down to the ring. Oh, eventually. Okay, JD. Um, for those of you who don't know, JD's my editor. I'm actually talking to him right now. Okay. Yeah, JD, she's the last... She and one thing, one more of my male wrestlers have yet to debut. Um, so after this show, I just need her and one of him and the other guy to debut, and I'll have the full roster debuted already. Since I had most of them debut on the uh, first show. And Alice Lovecraft making her way. Oh, she's already done. I keep fucking doing that. Stop it, James. <laughs> yes, the women's champion going against a debuting superstar. Who will it be? As we await. Whoa. I don't know if she's an actual women women's wrestler or not, but she looks cool, so I just I just threw her on here. So AJ Alexander, everybody, because there would have been three women on the show, and now that I have, I think I have six or eight, so I do have slight a small women's division. Um, but yes, AJ Alexander, going one on one with the women's champion, Alice Lovecraft. Here we go. Oh, went for a big elbow there and immediately got reversed. Oh. Now big DDT from the women's champion. Oh, big knee to the face. Wait, uh, JD. Yeah, I talked to Mark about it. He said, yeah, it probably wasn't really a good idea. But I was going to wait to talk to you about it if you wanted me to include her or not. But now that you said okay. I will include her in the show. Unfortunately, for those who are watching, no member from We Are The Core are on the show tonight. I know, they're taking a sabbatical for Christmas. Um, <laughs> they will be on the show. Nice Russian leg sweep there. Next week, we may see a special eight-man tag featuring the Core. And eight superstars. We may actually see them... You know what? That'd be a good that'd be a good ending match for next week's show. Have the core go against the tag team champions, the Intercontinental Champion, and the World Heavyweight Champion. You know that does sound like a good show. I hope the hope the matchmakers decide to do it. Oh my God! Ran right into that super kick. Now Alice Lovecraft is gonna bash the back of her head into the mat. What's Alice gonna go for here? And big kill switch. Alice Lovecraft, the women's champion. Uh oh. AJ's debut may go in a bad way. Spin kick, the same move I believe that won her the women's championship against Crystal Wolf in the first show. And here we go, cover. One, two, three. And AJ Alexander, unfortunately, couldn't do as well as Bryson and Brad Bishop did in the main show. There was the kill switch and the massive downward spiral super kick, I guess. The love bites, I guess is what's going to be her, her finishing call move. Here is your winner, Alice Lovecraft. 
I also love Kraft making short work. She's definitely going to be at the top of the women's division for probably quite a while. Um, but next up, I believe it is the Hardcore Championship. Like I said, since it's a weekly defended title, the new champion Kyle Rage will be going one-on-one -on -one against a new star. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Hardcore title is once again being defended. Like I said, it is a weekly defended title on Raw and on the pay-per-views. And here we see Chris Danger, everyone, making his debut. Of course, some people may know him, some people may not. Um, for those of you who do, who do know him, yes, I do have Chris Danger. Yes, Chris Danger going one on one with the hardcore champion Kyle Rage. But let me check my win loss history right now, who is currently I think one and zero. Yes, he's currently one and zero. His debut match was in the hardcore title uh, championship match, just like Chris Danger is now. Will the pattern repeat itself? The debuting star come up on top. We'll find out here. As Power Rage says he's going to show you a different side of him tonight. Um, something a little bit different than like the prisoner like attire. Oh my god. What the hell are we looking at? Oh my, he looks so creepy. Kyle Rage showing a darker side of himself, it looks like. Now that he is the hardcore champion. Will we see this quite often? I'm not too sure. Um, yes, Kyle Rage, the hardcore champion. Uh, so far, the longest reigning hardcore champion, which isn't saying much because the longest reign before his was Alex Abbott's one-day title reign. Um, so I think Kyle Rage is up to a week now. The power of being the champion going to his head. I know, right, JD? The nerve of this man. <laughs> Introducing the challenger from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 220 pounds, Chris Danger. Yes, Chris Danger. Oh, he's saying it's over already. Introducing the champion from Scarsdale, New York. Weighing in at 237 pounds, he is the WWE Hardcore Champion, Kyle Rage. Yes, Kyle Rage with a new look. Oh my god, that's so scary. Um, so Kyle Rage looking at holding his title for possibly the last time. As Chris Danger looks at that title, I'm sure he would love to be the third hardcore champion and actually make the title prestigious but the series has started so no prestigious titles as of yet and here we go oh my god immediately Kyle Rage just double axe handle to Chris Danger oh no a big uh, Luthes press I forgot that it was called for a second <laughs> Maybe JD's right. Maybe the power is going, uh, being the champ, the power of being the champ going to Kyle Rage's head. But will that be seen as an advantage or disadvantage? So far, it seems to be working out for him quite well. Oh, he's going for a cover already? Wow, yeah, he, he just, I think it's definitely gone to his head. What's Kyle Rage going to do here? Putting Danger into the ropes and launching him back. And Chris Danger with a reversal is what he needs to get into this match. Oh, what is this? Chris Danger showing some strength here. Oh, oh, nice gut wrench power bomb cover. Oh. 
There's danger. Opic oh, slap to the body. And a big German suplex up really quick. What is this? Oh! Oh! Kicking the face of Kyle Rage. Now Chris Danger seems to be in control. Uh oh, Lion Saw! Ooh! Now what is Danger going for? I forgot, this is an Extreme Rules match, so they can use weapons. Now this Danger looking to grab. Oh! Somebody wanted some tables. Oh! Oh! Will we get to see the table be used? I have no idea. Oh! DDT on the table. Ow! Like on the table, metal bars. And Kyle right. Oh, just landing Chris Danger on that table a second time. Now, I throw him. Kyle Rage now. What's he going to do here? Yes. Oh my god, right into the turnbuckle post. Rage back in control, and now a big Samoan drop, I believe the signature maneuver, one of the signature maneuvers of Kyle Rage. Oh, went for something big there, Danger reverses with a big roundhouse to the back of the head. And now Rage with the reversal. Uh-oh. Rage going for the move that won him the title. Samoan driver, but on the outside. That's not going to put him away. I think I called it the Rage Buster. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh my god, grabbing him by the head. And danger. Oh! Okay, I see you. I see you. There's danger taunting after that uh, impressive sight of move. It doesn't really sound like I made much sense, but it's okay. Chris Danger having a bit of a comeback moment. Two elbows. Ducks it. Pele kick. Is Danger going to go here for... Taste of Danger. I at least remember that. Will the hardcore champion be put away? The ref taking his sweet time. One. Two. No. This danger really wants to become hardcore champion. And what is this? Look at the, look at the ability of Chris Danger. What's he, what's he going for? Nothing. Okay, stomp to the back. I feel like he's trying to go for something, but like I guess he's not having enough room. Oh, for a big move. Oh, big boot. He's planting danger. Danger. <laughs> No selling the shit out of it. Uh oh no. Power Rage, don't get up. Tuning up the band. Say to Shawn Michaels. Oh! One, two, no. That was the finishing maneuver of Chris Danger, and it could not put the champ away. I'm not going to take some time to taunt. These two don't seem to have. Any lack of confidence, even though Chris Dangerous is his first match, and Kyle Rage has only won one match, and he's already a little bit too ego stricken. And Rage now is trying to get back into the match. And for something big, Danger shoves him off. Danger now. Oh! Suplex into that backstabber will be enough to put the hardcore champion away. Two, three, and Chris Danger is your new hardcore champion. I feel like I may have to play this next week. We get another new hardcore champion. Superstar picked up a huge victory. Must deserve myself. Yeah, but I don't think the opponent's happy about losing here. I mean... He must be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. And I kind of did too at some point. Well, with that, people. Chris Danger, the new hardcore champion. As we move on to a ne the next match, AJ Wade going one-on-one -on -one with Tiger.
Tiger. Sorry. Alrighty, match four or five. Here we go. It was alright, man. I agree. Dude, you should have been here for the first match. The first match was fucking intense. Or maybe you were and you were just watching. AJ Wade looking at it, looking a little bit different. You know, some superstars have two different looks. The first time we saw him, it was a mixture of Shawn Michaels, Lost My Doors, and The Undertaker for some weird reason. Um, in terms of his attire. But he is going one-on-one -on -one with Tiger just to climb the rankings tonight. Unfortunately, no World Heavyweight Champion, but honestly, after last week's show, where, uh, for those of you who don't know, go check out last week's show. Um... Well, the last episode, I should say. Um, because Adrian Castle, our World Heavyweight Champion, just got... I don't even want to... You know what? Just, just watch it. Just watch it. Because it's, it's pretty stunning. Tiger. Tiger making his way down to the ring. Yeah, so that scene Kara mask looks really cool in black and red. This is why I gave him that mask. <laughs> Alright, match four. AJ Wade and Tiger, and they're doing the same thing. Alright, here we go. Two cruiserweights. Let's go. Let's see some cruiserweight action. Tiger immediately float over snap suplex. Okay. Not exactly what I was thinking, but, you know, I was hoping for some high flying shit. And AJ Wade, big running knee lift. We're not running, but knee lift. Okay, kick to the face. Slamming the arm down. That's good. You got to wear the opponent down. Waiting for the opponent to get up. Oh, Tiger now running bulldog. Okay, got some cruiserweight type shit. Nice. Oh, kick missed it. AJ Wade back suplex. The crowd seems pretty. Dull. <laughs> I don't seem to really enjoy the cruiserweights. Um, I was thinking of putting a cruiserweight title in, but there's not many cruiserweights on the show, so that's another title that's probably not going to happen. Um, oh, big calf kick, nice. Stomping at the arm. I work more on the arm, which is good because Tiger's finishing maneuver relies on that arm quite a little bit. Thrown to the corner, AJ Wade. Oh my god, landed right on his face there. Uh, elbow to the face, punch to the face, punch to the face again. Oh shit. These cruiserweights are gonna go flying, my god. Hurricane Rana, ooh. Cover off the Hurricane Rana on the top rope, one. No, just a one. Wrenching on the back, trying to get AJ Wade to tap out. Haven't done nearly enough damage. AJ Wade now, what is he going for? Oh, okay. That was kind of cool. And immediately going to the top rope. What is he going to go for here? Swanton, or no, shooting star, I mean. Swanton's a completely different move. And Tiger hit, um, I think that's one of AJ Wade's signatures or finishers, I believe. Um... Oh, 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 what is Tiger going for here? Uh-oh, I think I know what he's going for now. Running dropkick, oh, busting him open behind the mask. Going for the cover, will that be enough? One, two, three, and that was a pathetic match. <laughs> Didn't even need the Tiger Bite to win. That puts Tiger at one win, one loss. And that puts AJ Wade at one win, one loss. And we have the same exact cutscene happening that we had last match. So we're going to skip that and go to the main event now. The Intercontinental Champion Virgil Fox going one-on-one -on -one with Carberry. Main event time. Intercontinental Champion making his way down to the ring. 
Virgil Fox, everybody. While that's happening, I'm going to check their records. Virgil Fox is at two wins, zero losses. So yes, two wins, zero losses so far. Um, he is currently our highest rated percent winning superstar. Yes, and while he comes out, Carberry is unfortunately at zero wins, one loss. But will that change tonight against the Intercontinental Champion? I don't know. We'll have to wait and find out. I love this fucking theme song so much. And his CJP's. From Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 294 pounds, Carl Bradley. Two big men about to go off on each other. This will be one interesting match, or it'll be a one sided beatdown. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. That song reminds me of Mega Man 2. Um, I think that's probably what it was inspired by, but I'm not 100% too sure. And here we go. Virgil Fox immediately went for something big and Carberry. Oh my god, what is this? Sunset Flip Power Bomb going for a cover immediately. One, two, a two already. Oh, we just started the match. Holy shit. Lifting the big man up. Virgil having none of that. Oh, big close on. Now the Intercontinental Champion going to try and keep his winning streak going as a running DDT knocks Carberry down. Oh! Right to the face with a kick in a way that probably didn't make much sense, but it's okay. <laughs> Wrenching the shoulder. Here we go, come on. Virgil Fox now, oh, big shoulder block. Right now, shoulder block of his own. Oh, big punch. And now what is this? Oh my god, no way! Oh, fisherman suplex. Lifting that near, I think he's like over 300 pounds. He just lifted with like relative ease. Stomp into the arm. Carberry going for something big. Mikinoku driver. Could have went for a cover there, but I guess he knew it wasn't going to do anything. Oh my god. Punch to the side of the face. Kick. Missed. And now STO. Right? I think I was an STO. Yeah, because the reverse one you do opposite. Uh oh. Virgil Fox. Change the move. End of the trail. We could be looking at a 3 0 victory right here. Victory record. F5. Carberry versus DDT. What's he going to go for here? Oh, he missed it. And modified Russian leg sweep to signature maneuver of Carberry. And the big man quickly getting up to his feet. Carberry now lifting him up. Hey, hey. Or CA. Oh, only a two. Changer and finisher was not enough. And now here comes a rolling thunder. Oh! Crowd picking up a little bit more uh, interest in the match than they did the previous one. I was wrenching on the head of Virgil Fox here, trying to make him go to sleep. Oh, Virgil pops back up. Now he has a control. Tossing Carberry across the ring. That's crazy. Virgil Fox, I think I'm about to have a comeback moment. Here we go. Oh, no, never mind. 
Here we go. Tied it again. Two clotheslines. Ducks that. Oh! Big clothesline of his own. And again, this could be it right here. End of the trail number two. Cover. One. Two. Three. No. Virgil thought it was three, but not so. And now he's going to try a second attempt at that F5 like maneuver. Here we go. Number two. This time it works. F5. Cover again. One, two. Oh my God. <laughs> Only a two. <laughs> Barbary immediately getting up. Shoulder down oh, close line, I mean. Thought he's going for a shoulder tackle. He's getting pumped up. Look at Carberry go. And here we go again. Shoulder tackle. Shoulder tackle. <laughs> close line ducks it. Suplex. Oh. Carberry had this comeback moment. What will happen here? Super kick. Another Sandra maneuver. Cover. Ref taking a sweet time. One, two, no. What's Carberry going to do here? No way. Oh, no way. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he was about to try lifting him up by just his head. And Carberry again calling for it. Well, we see the Intercontinental Champion lose tonight. Hey, hey, again, number two. One, two, three. And unfortunately, Virgil Fox's winning streak came to an end. But Carberry gets his first win of the universe. That puts Carberry at one and one. An incredible hard fought match. And Carberry's reaching out his hand in a show of respect. And Virgil shakes it as well. What a good way to end off an IP. Oh, he's not even holding Carberry's hand because he's so big. But that's one way to end the night. Sign of respect from two great competitors. And once I find Virgil Fox's record, that'll put Virgil at two wins, one loss. One loss. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all had a fun time. I sure did. Sorry if it was a little bit of an oddball show. But I'll see you next week.